This is the Washington Times front page for Tuesday, December 21st, 2021. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Wall Street buckled under the strain of Omicron as President Biden met with advisors to retool his strategy for beating back a winter surge in COVID-19 cases. The highly contagious Omicron variant made up 73% of new cases last week, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said, an almost six-fold increase in one week. Tom Howe reports the president is expected to warn Americans that cases will flourish in the coming days while insisting they can choose between avoiding severe disease through immunization or remaining unvaccinated. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said that Tuesday's speech from Biden will touch on efforts to expand testing and other measures to thwart Omicron, a fast-moving variant that's been found in most U.S. states and 90 countries. The Department of Homeland Security has announced it will restart construction on parts of the wall at the southern U.S. border with Mexico, moving to plug gaps left in place after President Biden ordered all work to stop on his first day in office. Stephen Dynan reports the department said it will fix gates and build out access roads that Border Patrol agents use to respond to incursions. The department said Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas gave the OK for the construction, which will touch on spots along the border from Del Rio, Texas to San Diego, California. He characterized the work as a matter of safety and environmental upgrades. Others said it will help reduce the incentive for migrants to attempt a trip north toward the border. Democrats from the White House to Congress refuse to accept that President Biden's Build Back Better Act is dead and are looking for ways to revive the deal. Harris Alec reports administration officials and senior lawmakers say West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin can be made to support the package or some version of it with time. Manchin, a Democrat, said Sunday he won't vote for the package as currently constructed. Some say the only way to get Manchin to fold is by ramping up public pressure. To that end, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has pledged to hold a vote on the social spending and climate change bill once lawmakers return to Capitol Hill in January. Schumer said the maneuver will force Manchin to go on record opposing several of the package's more popular provisions, including universal pre-kindergarten and expanded Medicaid benefits for seniors. The anger from Democrats over Manchin's move, De Boyer reports, has also renewed the call from some to abolish the Senate's constitutional design of two votes per state and replacing it with a system to allow more populous states to have greater influence. Democrats control the White House, the House of Representatives, and the Senate, but their narrow majorities in Congress have often blocked them from passing their priorities on a partisan basis. Some frustrated progressives remain upset that states such as Wyoming, with 590,000 residents, have equal representation in the Senate with California's nearly 40 million residents. And finally, Russia has upped the ante in its standoff with Ukraine, openly warning of military action if President Biden and America's NATO allies ignore a list of demands Russia announced late last week. Then Wolfgang reports Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rybakov said his country is fully prepared to respond through military technical means if Western powers fail to address demands. Those include NATO not expanding to include Ukraine or Georgia, and the U.S. not basing additional military assets in former Soviet republics in Central Asia. U.S. officials have said Russian President Vladimir Putin's list of demands is unrealistic, but could be the starting point for easing tensions in Ukraine and letting diplomacy take the place of saber-rattling. At the same time, the U.S. and the European Union say they're preparing unprecedented sanctions on Russia if the Kremlin moves militarily against Ukraine. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us on all major podcast platforms just by searching Washington Times in your favorite podcast app. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at WashTimes for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.